Welcome back to the city of Donderville. We are continuing our quest for some stone golems called Cantos in this game. Down here they are and we do want them. We have 403 people at the city right now. We will grow to 500 this episode and build our first points of administration and then we'll try to maybe do some conquering. I will increase my army size by 50% from 20 to 30 and then I will set up the things we are going to need for for administrating an empire which is paper. Thankfully the raw resource we need to turn into paper is simply wood and we have enough wood over here with our little forest we can chop down from time to time. The only real problem we have when we want to build a paper maker is... I'm just trying to find it over here. It is under crafting. A paper maker is... We need iron bars to build the paper maker. For now I will simply copy the carpenter and say you are a paper maker now. We can build it over here in our new district. And we can see we need 297 iron bars. We have 35 right now. That is what one might call a problem. But it's not a problem we cannot fix. So I'll quick build this. I'll do some trading. I will probably sell some rations. I will sell some stone. Some livestock. And some civilian ore. Which we have 40 right now. Still, It will still sell for 2300. So we are good on that front. And I'll try to get as much iron as I can. See you in a bit.
Okay, we have our paper maker and we are producing our first paper, 260 stored up already. I've also built my first masonry so we can get some cut stone. Not storing anything up at the moment because the markets are still being filled with cut stone. Not that we have enabled our people to take any as furniture, we, we need it for now. But the markets are nonetheless gathering up some. So it takes a while until our stores fill up. We are getting quite low on drinks. I just saw that my people are consuming more drinks than we produce. Which is uh, due to me enabling drinks for the humans and the Cretonians. So I'll think about uh, undoing that. I've placed some torches. Because all the races I have do like... Uh, lighting so now we have lights and I think the next service I will provide to grow is uh, a little bath and I will try to place a little bath here we do need sweet water for that but that's not a problem because we can just pump our own sweet water down out here all we need to do is place a pump and one canal so now we should have a radius of sweet water around here. And then we can start building our ba bathhouse. I won't make it too big for now, simply because I do not want to pay... ...pay too much in, in build costs. Let's build it like this for now, with a few basins. Like one large one over here, one large one over there. And some benches in the middle. So we could even make it smaller if we wanted to, like this. Just to save on some costs. We don't need too many services for now. 120 cut stones, 60 metal, 20 baths with 100% relaxation. That's what we want, that's what we need. Let's build it. We have 12 metal stored up, so we will need more. Which means I do need to get out there and trade a bit more. I'll show you one trade without going into a time lapse real quick. What I'm offering them is Cephalon Ore, 32,000, and then I'll take all the, the metal they want to give me. I have to be careful since uh, every piece I take is getting more expensive than the one before. And what I'm also going to need, because it will take a long time, is cut stone. Which is also pretty expensive. Let's take like 60. And for that we are going to trade them some livestock and maybe some rations. Except now 60 cut stone is coming in, we need 120 so the rest we should produce in, in short order. Once the bath is finished, my people should be much more happy than before. The bathhouse is quite a important service for all the races we have in our settlement at the moment. We can also look into upgrading the, uh, the services we do have. We need cut stone for that one and iron if we want to upgrade our food stores we only need we only need pottery and we do have pottery so let's upgrade it this one needs one more employee immediately the mood of my people is improving the metal is coming in 
The cut stone is coming in. We can speed things up a bit. I don't know what my 10 odd jobbers are doing. But it is not what they're supposed to do. Which is deliver stuff. Okay, I don't want to wait that long. I will just buy some more cut stone. We have the cash. Why not use it? So at any moment, my cut stone will come in. There it is. And the bathhouse is finished. We definitely do not need six workers over here. One is plenty. The bathhouse will take coal. I don't think we produce enough coal. Maybe we do. One more coal worker. Three operators should be plenty. Probably two is enough for two bad. And now my people will become very, very happy. Because as you can see the bathhouse Fulfillment is going up. There's no upgrade for the bathhouse, so this is enough. This gives 100% uh, fulfillment and then we can let in a few more people. This alone attracted quite a few immigrants. 18 Dondorians waiting, 9 Cretonians and 15 humans. I just saw that my wood stores are running low, so let's fell some trees. And let's let in the Dondorians. So we are attracting quite a few humans, 24 humans now. As you can see, this service is very, very worth getting. Also pretty worth it is upgrading the, the toilets, the lavatories. But we don't have enough cut stone for now to do that. I would love it if my people started gathering up some some of all that grain that is lying around. I think we might even need to invest in some science for that one. So over here that's 1900 science for the transport. But I think I'll, I'll do it. This is annoying me to no end. What we can do now is we can place a transport down. Which will need metal and we don't have metal so I'll just build this real quick and show you after. Okay, the transport is finished and what this is doing, this has a radius and the workers in there will gather up the selected good in that radius and then transport it to a target destination, which is this place over here. So as you can see now the, the carts are waiting here to be refilled and the workers are heading out and gathering up some some grain and overall it's just a bit faster than g carrying it over there because those two cards can transport 255 each and an ordinary person would take like three or five grain i think and walk all the way over there store it there so it's very inefficient it's just a little a little thing that gives me some efficiency the bathhouse is doing its its wonders, as you can see. 44 Dondorians want to join, 16 Cretonians and 34 humans. What we can also think about is procuring some leather armor. Which I will do by simply copying over the, the hunter. And then employing a few hunters in here. Who are gathering up leather. 
There's ladder enabled in here. Just so we can get some basic armor going. Five is enough for now. We can upgrade the toilets, at least one of them. I think this one is being used more over here. So now they have marble, marble toilet seats. It's much nicer pooping on a smooth surface like that. Before it was like scraggly stone and people were cutting their, their cheeks. So my next steps are to build a second laboratory and invite in a few more humans and Dondorians. Okay, I have a little conundrum. I'm being extorted by 67 soldiers with 55% training and 54% equipment. And our soldiers, which are 32, And I'm training up to 40, have a 67%, a 62% training, but the equipment is not on the same level. So I think this is the first time in in playing Songs of Six on, on YouTube that I'm going to pay them off. Just so I, I probably would just lose more people and more money overall and we can make those those 31,000 denarii, they, they don't hurt. I mean, it's most of the money we have, but it doesn't hurt. But 10% of all my goods, that's, that's painful, but let's do it. So, as you can see, everything jumped down by 10%. Not too big of a deal. Simply because I don't want to fill up my graveyard. And I think that's what we would have achieved with uh, declining. Would be interesting to see what happens if I just don't build a room for my mushrooms. Do they still grow? Don't they grow? This mushroom farm seems to be working. So I don't think we need the building even.
I'll quickly check and build a mushroom farm simply just for science. Little mushroom farm over here. Okay, it builds a ceiling around them. But it is working just normally. Okay, we don't... That is very interesting to know. I will keep that in mind for the future. We don't need a building around our mushroom farm. Okay, we are storing up on some clothing. We are storing up some drinks, some rations. We need two more people. Let's pick two Cretonians. And now we can build our administration. Where is the question though? I think I will use this space I left over here and quickly design a little administration. See you in a bit. Okay, the administration is finished and I have built a few army supply depots which are gathering up the supplies our army will need. And I will just quickly place a few roads down here so this is nice and urbanized. And then we will build our first army. This army will consist of the troops in our city. So my people will now gather up gather up their stuff and then leave. I will add in 10 more humans just so we have some odd jobbers. And now my soldiers are on the out here on the world map. There's 86 people here. We could... Let's try. 110 even. But we auto resolve and we get some leather armor for it. We don't need no prisoners. We lost two people. But we won a glorious victory and now we should have our first settlement. We did it. So the genocide buttons are off the table for this playthrough. I'm just telling you. <laughs> We're not doing it this time. We will have very, very big problems in growing our cities. Simply because most of our people are Dondorians and Dondorians take up a lot of space. So it will be quite a task to grow this settlement. Thankfully, the area is rather large.
We have five build points. But we don't have any happiness buildings because we don't have administration. Very sad. Let's employ 10 more administrators. Are they just happy because of my army? Yes, they are just happy because of my army. That is not a good look for us. So let us let in 20 more Dondorians. And then we have to wait for some administration. The five build points we could use to get some ore. What do we have here? We have two coal veins and one ore vein. What do we have down here? There's four ore veins, two civil... Okay, this... This area down here is amazing. New Leerbrook. It's only corrected to, connected to Krachtland, which is kind of a problem. So for now, we are just going to take the ore. Settlement is growing rather quickly. We will need some administration to get some happiness in here. Yeah, they're already getting unhappy. Now we have the administration we need. So let's build them some stands. Which will also probably not do it. So let's also build a, a tavern and we will send our army home. They did their job. Also we have the first haven in our, in our settlement, the Bastion of Myrrh. What we are going to do to need to make them happy is 80% aphorism, so we need a a temple. Also, we need a temple and then we need 70% ore. We have 3% right now. We need 95% judged, so we need a, a courthouse. And we need a population of over 1000. All of those are very achievable things. Oh, we don't have any support. That's why the people are unhappy. Okay, we can live with that. You are going home. Thank you for... For fighting for us. And I think with our first settlement secured on the world map... So this is our first... The first city in our, in our Dondorian Empire. We have the first bastion, so we can, in the future, we can... We could even recruit some cantors. I see we have a new neighbor, which we are going to propose a trade agreement. And we will bribe him with some civilian ore, just to keep him happy. Seems to be a rather large nation. 9 million, 109,000, so this is a very large nation. With a metric fuckton of deposits in this settlement over here. How much would you... Would you want for this settlement? It's Uvenster. Just quickly checking, demanding regions, Uvenster. 1.8 million. Okay, we can get there. We can get there. Not right now, but in the near future, 
will definitely reach that. I think I'll enable... Okay, that was a misclick. I will enable the iron ore to be delivered over here. And then we will produce our own metal over here. In a smelter we are going to build over here. That's. I think that's the last thing I'm going to do this episode. And I'm going to do it a bit quicker. I'm just going to take the bakery and I'm telling the bakery you're a smelter now. And the smelter is done. Maybe not 20 smelters, but 10 should be fine. We will up our coal production. And now we should be producing our own metal bars. Yes, we are. 12 pieces every day. But I think that's it for this episode, so... If you're one of the few people watching, thank you very much and I see you or hear you the next time. Goodbye.